So I've jumped into making Libra videos pretty quick, and I've kind of neglected any beginner level uh, videos as a result. So let's go over today just the basics of installing a LibraCAD. For that, I'm going to open up the Brave browser. I'm going to go to alibra.com slash download. Now I'm running on a virtual machine here, so this may not reflect the performance of a real PC. But here we have the um, Atom and Design installers as well as the Workshop. I'll install a Libra Design on this one. And we'll download a Libra Design version 22. Once your uh, download is complete, we'll go to the Downloads folder. Now that we're in the uh, Install Wizard, we're going to hit Next. You can accept the terms, and you can always copy and paste these into a Word document or something if you need the terms and conditions for your records. So we have Desktop and Smart Menu Programs folder. I'll add those both and install. Now at some point during the install, if you don't already have it installed, you may be asked to install a Microsoft C++ something. Um, so go ahead and say yes to installing that, or I don't think Alibra will run. And that is a pretty simple install. I think it'll just finish up here and have us open up uh, Alibra when it's done. So even something as installing this on something as lightweight as a virtual machine is pretty easy. Now, of course, after you purchase the software, you're given a license key and you'll just enter that uh, upon your first time starting up Alibra. So really couldn't be simpler here. So I can choose launch Alibra design. I'll go ahead and enter a license key and we have a Libre running. So I hope this video was helpful and if it was please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.